today on Be Something Wonderful. Allowing your imagination to run wild manifests it fast. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, welcome back. Good morning. Big video today. This comes from, this is a client that I, is, is sort of an ongoing client that I've spoke with several times now. And, and in, in all cases, it was about a specific person, right? An SP, as they say. And, and, and she was really, you know, she just said, you know, there was at one point where she was just feeling defeated, right? Is, is the best word to describe it. She was feeling down. She was feeling that, uh, I, why do I attract these type of guys? I don't want to get into specifics about um, the, what she believes she was attracting or the personality type in these guys, but it wasn't what she wanted. It wasn't what she desired. And, and, and she was feeling alone. So she was feeling lack within. She was feeling, quote, lonely and, and, um, and really, wanted to, really wanted this to work, right? And so we had a couple conversations and we were talking about Imagine Life. So we talked about everything, right? And then she finally got to a point where, where she, was feeling, she was feeling really down and she just surrendered, right? She surrendered. And then started, she, and she was so excited because I just spoke with her. She did a follow-up session. She goes, Tom, it, it, it really works. It really works. And I, you know, imagine it, it is all imagination. I am God. It was very exciting for, for it to really click with her. And, and what, what she was, she was imagining, uh, uh, just, she was just imagining being in, meeting somebody, right? Meeting this guy. She, and she really let her imagination run wild. She goes, I, I almost felt a little superficial. I go, there's no such thing. That's just a judgment, a 3D judgment. She imagined him with a dog. She imagined him with many houses and many homes and, and, and um, all of these specifics. And then sure enough, it plays out. She met somebody and, you know, he said, hey, do you want to come and walk my dog with me? And then at that moment, she goes, oh, my God. <laughs> she, and then they walked by exactly the type of uh, house in the neighborhood that she imagines walking around in. That, down to, to the number of houses he had, all of this. She got specific about it. She, she would she get specific about, OK, um, uh, they're, they're packing things in a car and that it doesn't all fit all playing out in imagination, but then all playing out in 3D reality, right? So this is big. And a big point of this is she, because, because this guy, it, it turns out that this guy had a lot of the traits that the unwanted traits though, that she found out later as she, as she was learning that the other guys had. So she still had an assumption there. Right, but how beautiful! And she was, she at first she was like getting down. I go, don't get down. I go, this is it. You're like, um, it's like Spider Man or any other superhero. Remember when they're first learning their powers? They're messing up. The web's all over the place. He's falling out of the sky, right? All of that. That a superhero as they learn their powers, as they they discover them and learn how to harness them, learn how to be the operant power. It feels like they're messing up, but hear this. A superhero, as much as they mess up when they're learning the powers, they, they fall from, thou, you know, from the sky and they don't get hurt. They don't get hurt. Hear this. They never get hurt. They just get up again, and then they finally get it down. That's you. All of that you've been through. Right? I know you think you've been hurt, and I know you think it, it's been awful, but it's like a superhero. The superhero never gets hurt until finally... Spider-Man and other superheroes, they master their powers. They know how to use them. That's you. That was my client. And that is my client now as she is, gonna, as she is now uh, tr attracting or going to attract. It's already done. The person that she wants, right? Be with the person that she wants. So I really want to get to this because you are that superhero learning that, discovering that power within you and then learning how to ha harness it, right? Here's what Neville Goddard says, and this is what my client did. Essentially, she told a new story. This is the power of, of inner talking. This is the power of inner speech. 
She told a new story and, and had fun with it. She was light about it. She had fun. The feeling, hear this, the feeling was light. The feeling was fun. The feeling was joy. That's the feeling. You want to feel your wish fulfilled. You don't have to, it doesn't matter if you've never experienced it in 3D reality before. You know what fun feels like. You know what joy feels like. You know what it fun feels like to frolic. As Abraham Hicks says, frolic. Frolic in your wish fulfilled. That's what she did. And she had so much fun with it. And then it's playing out, right? And now we're just tweaking that assumption that she thinks so that, that, that these guys or the guys that she's with treat her like that. Once she drops that assumption, she's a, she's a superhero learning her power. She's mastering it now. So there's nothing more powerful than the story you're telling yourself and the world. That's what she really learned, right? This inner talking is not just a story about your life. Hold, hear this. It is your entire life experience right now and now and now and now, every now moment. She got that because it was immediate. She, she, she was, this, this happened so fast, it blew her mind, right? That's your entire life experience, right? You're learning to use your superpower. Your story is your reality, all of it. And what you are imagining all day long is your life experience, right? Your story, your inner talking, your inner speech, the story you're telling yourself are your assumptions about yourself in the world. Wow, this is powerful, right? That is the law of assumption. So, and this is what Neville Goddard says. As we, and I've used this before, but it's so powerful. It fits so much with this client. I'm so excited about this. As you control, tell a new story, in other words. As you control, as we control our inner talking, matching it to our fulfilled desires, we can lay aside all other processes. There's nothing more clear here by Neville Lay aside all of the processes. Assume a new story, version, concept of yourself, a new reality. That's what he means. That's your new story. That's what she did, right? A new concept, a new reality, right? That, that, that she can attract what she wanted, that she can have fun with this, right? That's the assumption, right? Remember what the definition of an assumption is. A thing that is accepted as true or as certain to happen without proof. She had no proof except that inner proof of creating it within. And then, then that externalized, right? And showed itself. It hardened in the fact, her facts, her assumptions, right? There are no facts out there. Your inner conviction is the proof. Wow. Hear this. The definition of assumption. But that's not all with assumption. So part of it is a thing accepted as true, as certain to happen without proof. That's clear. Also, though, it's, it's the action of taking on power or responsibility. That's the other part of a definition of assumption in the dictionary, in the Oxford Dictionary. I love this. The action of taking on power or responsibility. Neville, Neville he kneels this perfectly. You are the operant power. The action of taking on power or responsibility, being responsible for your powers, like in Spider-Man, right? With great power comes great responsibility, right? The law of assumption doesn't operate by itself, right? You, you consciously enact it, and sometimes you unconsciously enact it, but you're always, always the operant power, right? I am is the operant power in you. Neville got it. I am is the action. Hear this. I am is the action. I am is a verb. Right? It's a state of verb. So the action is the state. State of what? State of being. State of your assumption. The state you're assuming. Wow! The act, action is inner movement of assuming that which you desire to be or have. That's the action. It's not talking about th 3D action. That will happen automatically. That's a manifestation of everything you're creating within. I am is the action of assuming the state. That's big. Right? I am's a verb. It's the, it's the biggest verb in English. <laughs> it's big. I am. And it's stative, meaning it declares a state of being. Wow. That's powerful. So there's nothing in your world other than your thoughts in the moment. You create your own experience of the world moment to moment with your thought, with thought. 
Genevieve Davis from the Magic Books. I've talked about this in early videos a couple years ago now, but I love what I love. She, she's such a wonderful script. I love her take on this, right? There's nothing in the world other than your thought in the moment. That's your whole life experience, what you're thinking. But she goes on to say, it's not about controlling thought. Instead, tell a new story of how you would like things to be from that place of truth within, like my client did. She felt it. She had fun with it. She frolicked, right? They, remember, they are, there, there are no facts outside of your thoughts or assumptions. Your assumptions, your thoughts are the facts. Your assumptions, your story is reality, is your entire life experience. I love that, right? It's, it's not about careful here because she also points out it's not thinking or telling a story of what you want, right? Because when you tell a story of what you want, you create a reality of wanting but never having and never being, right? You create a reality of more things you want. I've talked about this before, even outside of her books, right? This is important. It's a story, inner talking, of thinking about things you want that creates more wanting. When you're telling a story that I want this and I want that and you don't move to it, you don't claim it, you don't claim the state, right? It, that, that inner talking then is about things you want and never having it. It just creates more wanting of things but never having. Choose, assume, claim what you would like to be true and tell that story. That story becomes your experience of reality in that moment. There's no out there, out there. Right? That's, that's what I was getting at with yesterday's video, that ideas do not leave their source. Right? So there is no out there. That's what, it's simply, that's what that simply means. There's no objective reality outside of what's going on within you, and you are source. That's big, right? Remember, telling a story what you want just creates a reality of wanting, but never having and never being. Right? So... Don't repeat your story mindlessly over and over like an affirmation. This is Genevieve Davis again. I like this. I'm not, she's not saying that affirmations can't be powerful. She's making a distinction here. Tell a new, telling a new story is done in the moment from within a place of truth, from a place of feeling in the moment. Like my client. Fun. Frolicking. Light touch. Feeling it, right? She was having fun. She was being outrageous. She was lighthearted. It was a light touch. She was essentially allowing her imagination to run wild, feeling that power. But, but you know, like, like Spider-Man and the other superheroes, you're just learning when, when you first get that power, you're learning how to use it. You're going to fall a lot. You're going to get your web. You're going to get caught in your own web, <laughs> right? But then you get it. Then you get it. And with power comes responsibility. Right? Allowing your imagination to run wild <clears throat> manifests it fast. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creatives, thank you. Thank you for being with me. Thank you for liking the videos, sharing the videos, commenting, all your lovely comments. And um, uh, uh, don't forget, this Sunday, February 5th, 2023, we have our first, our second live stream, but our first live stream that's on the public channel for all subscribers, all members. This Sunday, February 5th at 9 a.m. Pacific Coast Standard Time, right here with me live. This is going to be big. And also, guys, visit our Facebook. We have a Facebook group called the Be Something Wonderful Ambassadors at facebook.com slash groups, slash be something wonderful where you can share insight and guidance with others and ask for insight and guidance. We also have a Facebook page at be something wonderful on Facebook. Visit that. We also have an Instagram and Twitter at Tom Karen. Love to have you there. Love to have you everywhere. Remember, you're everything everywhere all at once anyway. So guys, thank you. And, and don't forget, just go to our website anytime if, if you get confused and want to know where all that information is there at TomKaren.com or BeSomethingWonderful.com. With great love, with great light, and infinite gratitude, this is Tom. Until next time, creators, see you soon.